Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Joe Gas here, and today I'm going to tell you how to install BZIP2 on a Macintosh-based computer. Now, this is the reason I'm making this video is mainly to help out people who are working on, who are trying to make their own city a repo, and don't know how to install BZIP2 on their Mac. And that's what hold, and that's what's holding them back from making it. So I'm going to make this video telling you how, but maybe other people might want to know this for business reasons. So I'll tell you that too. Okay. Well, I got a text to show you what this is. I have a text document, right? I click it, and all it says is Joe Gas. What BZIP is is I could type in certain a couple commands in terminal. Press enter, and, uh, and then an exact copy of this document in BZIP2 format will appear on my desktop. And every time I click it to open it, it'll duplicate the original file I BZIPed. Let me show you an example. I'll change my drive to uh, my desktop. And now, what you want to do is type in BZIP2 space dash FKS space the name of the file you want to be zip mine is named Joe Gas Text. Bam. Now if you look there's a Joe Gas.bz2. I double click it, makes a new document, double click it, makes a new document. If I open it, it's gonna say Joe Gas as the same as the original one I first made. So let me show you how I how to install it. The first thing you're gonna want to do is go to the link in the description. It's gonna take you to the BZIP2 official home page. Then you want to go to downloads and click on here is the source tarball, which includes full documentation. Install that, okay? Once you've installed that, um, it should take you through installation steps, whatever it has to do. Once you install that. You'll notice it's just going to be a tar file. You have to extract that. Um, let's see if I still have it. Bzip2 um, dot tar. Um, I think I've seen it somewhere over here, but you just double click it and it. Here it is. It's a tar. Um, you just double click it and it takes everything that's inside of it out and then into another folder or something like that. Um, so yeah, and now that you installed it, you go into the other link in the description, and it'll tell you how to really install it. Because pretty much, when you install the BZIP2 from the official website, it's just installing the script so that you could install it via terminal. It's not literally installing it. And so what we got to do now is go and click on the link I gave you in the description, click on Darwin Ports up there, and click Download Darwin Ports. Now, it's going to give you instructions, and you're going to have to type some commands in terminal that it tells you to type in, and once you and press enter, whatever, and then you have to have Darwin Ports installed on a whole separate terminal window online. So keep this terminal window open of the Darwin Ports. Then right-click and choose New Window Basic. All right. Now you go back to the link I sent you that's in the description and it'll tell you how to install bzip2 you have to um, copy, copy and paste the first line in terminal and you may notice this little squiggly um, emblem means to press enter okay so once you copy and paste this in you press enter and copy and paste this in on the enter line then press enter again since it has that line and then it'll ask for your password. The password is the password of your username you logged into on your Mac. Then press enter again. Now you copy and paste everything, every this whole thing into one line because there's no squiggly line saying you need to press enter. Now um, then you press enter after you typed all this in. Copy and paste this, press enter. Copy and paste this, press enter copy and paste this, press enter, and copy and paste this, and press enter. Once you've done that, a whole bunch of lines of code is just going to flow through your terminal window. It's not, it's probably going to last for about 15 minutes, and you'll pretty much recognize when it stops. And that means that BZIP2 is successfully installed. But remember, you need to have the installation of the Darwin Ports installation through terminal on a separate window online while running 
while you have while you're installing bzip2 on another terminal window and that's how you install bzip2 on a mac um i hope this helped i know there's no video on youtube on how to do this and it's holding a lot of people back for doing stuff they want to do so hope this helped guys if thanks for watching please comment rate, and subscribe and guys have a nice day